Video resolution refers to the size of a video frame. In other words, how many pixels are in the video. The higher the resolution, the more pixels and the better the video will look. The video frame rate obviously tells you how many frames are played back in one second. The higher the frame rate, the smoother the video will look. But there is something else about video that's very important that most people aren't very familiar with. It's called bitrate. Every digital video is simply a bunch of information stored on some computer. It could be stored on your hard disk, maybe on YouTube or a website of some sort, whatever. You get the idea. When the video is played, the CPU or the GPU in your computer processes the file, after which it ends up as visual information on the screen. In a camera, it's obviously the other way around. The amount of data processed by the CPU of the computer every second while playing the video is what we call the bitrate. More bits per second means more information in the video, which means more information on your screen, which means more detail in the video, and therefore better quality. Higher bitrate also means you need a more powerful computer because it needs to process more bits per second and also more storage capacity because the video file will take up more space. An interesting thing about bitrate is that it doesn't necessarily depend on the resolution or the frame rate of the video. For example, when I say the phrase full HD video, you might think of something that looks crisp and sharp like this, but actually this is also Full HD, and it looks rubbish. Only in this example, I have reduced the video's bitrate to only 512 kilobits per second. The resolution of the video is fine, but there isn't enough data, there isn't enough information to properly utilize all of those pixels. So, higher resolution video also needs a higher bitrate in order to look good. Also, you shouldn't increase the bitrate too much. Using an extremely overkill bitrate is often not a good idea, since you probably won't see the quality increase past a certain point, but it will take up a massive load of disk space and require a lot of processing power to be played back. Here's a very handy table that tells you what bitrates are appropriate for several frame rates and resolutions. Feel free to pause the video and take a closer look at it. So then, in a video editor, when you export your video, you can choose either constant bitrate or variable bitrate. Now, constant bitrate is pretty obvious. It means that you set a very specific bitrate, and then the video editing software will export your entire video at that bitrate. And while constant bitrate can be nice in some circumstances, we usually use variable bitrate. In a video, there are always bits where there is just less stuff going on, less details, less movement. Maybe a black screen appears for five seconds. You don't need 10 megabits per second to display an entirely black screen. This is where variable bitrate comes in. VBR means that the bitrate is adjusted according to how much stuff is going on in the video. When there is a scene with lots of details and movement, it will increase the bitrate to make sure that it will look good. And when there is some black screen or something else that doesn't require a high bitrate, it will turn the bitrate down to save some space and processing power. This makes VBR very efficient. With VBR, you can set a target bitrate, which will then function as an average rate for the entire video. So, there you go. Now you know a little more about bitrate. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.